fuck with us Well, we post it every Friday every See Friday. them corner emojis, then you know a nigga wild I'm a jaded Gemini so we're about to be talking about some Karens. Um, I know Karens has been like the topic of 2020 because when you keep a Karen in the house, it, it it's like when you feed a gremlin after midnight. Ah! That shit just like it, it's bad. So Dr. Phil decided he was gonna also profit off of Karens, and I know I already did a Dr. Phil video recently, but y'all should still go and watch it. You should. You it's should. amazing. Hold on. Pause. Go watch that video. I hope all of y'all have watched that video. It was oh cut God. amazing. It was. It looks amazing. It it smells amazing. You could you it could scratch the amazing. screen. <laughs> scratch the screen. Oh I would God. put the video right here if I could, but I don't know if I can. No, but it's it's it, there. There's no point. No, it's gonna be there. Like just watch it. It's very good. It's a very good video. Well, and it's really short, so it's not going to take up your whole yeah, day. Yeah, it won't it's even like take minutes. up like a, a fraction but, of your existence. But basically, um, come on, man. He basically, Doctor Phil got a whole bunch of viral Karens and like put them all in one place, and he got a bunch of people who are like pro Black Lives Matter, not the organization, but the concept of yeah. Black Lives Mattering. Um, to have a conversation yeah. and stuff, and even like some professionals and stuff like <laughs> a mess. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna watch it, okay? We're gonna watch it. Hopefully, Philly Philly Bear doesn't uh, copyright us, Uncle Philbert. I I don't think he will. I talked to him the other Not day. Not periodic. I, I never talked to him. But oh, I I spoke I speak to him all the time. Yeah, I mean, nah, I don't think yeah. he will. If he does, I'd be very highly disappointed, though. Oh my I will say that. I'm asking you if this is your property. Oh, oh my god, that fucking demon. I forgot about her. Oh my god, she looks so scary. How did he get her? I wonder where her back Ooh. end is. How much you gotta pay to get no, that she, motherfucking bra? She owns like a big, big business. I don't think she showed up, actually. She I don't got think no she bottom up. lip. Dude, her face just that is like snatched arched. off of her fucking existence. Her face is arched to be like an, an evil Jasmine, nemesis. she looks just like that yeah, emoji. Private property. Private property. Most property. Most the nation's property. turmoil over Black Lives Matter, I decided to write Black Lives Matter on our house. On I my house. That's what my dog said. On my house. Right. was defacing private property. And for Andres. You don't know <laughs> if I live here or if this is my property. Yes, yeah, you know. Oh my god, not the finger on the fucking chin. Jesus Christ. I asked them very clearly, you don't know if I live here. To which they responded, no, we know you don't live here because we know who the owner is. I'm on my home turf. I'm standing in front of the house. Not nah, my home turf. Years. My dog's on my turf. Dude, his house look haunted. Look at that house. <laughs> that shit look haunted as fuck. That looks beautiful though. It, it's very pretty, that but... That is a certain type of deco it, that it I do not like want a, anything to do with. It looks like a murder house. That's what I'm saying. It looks like a few people have died in there. I would not want to but live But if you're a gangster, pretty... don't you... Of course people have died in your house if you're a gangster. I feel like NBA Youngboy House is haunted. <laughs> Indica said that's why that demon resides near him. He fighting his demons, you heard Because your house is the portal to hell. Jesus Christ. Fighting them demons. <laughs> Yes, it does look like that house off of Charmed. It really does. I just don't see why nobody ever actually gives these motherfuckers what they want. What? A fight? Bro, if if they would have caught Open Container Daniel, like, Open Container Daniel, or, yeah, I didn't even know about Young Boy, but I used to be fighting my demons, bro. You a motherfucker pull up on me talking about some anything stupid. <laughs> I'm about to pull out an assault rifle. Yeah! What oh you god. talking about, nigga? What? You said what? I said, oh my god, you hurt my eardrums. Drop your I stuff have, and I walk away. On. I'm about to beat you with this motherfucker. Open container, Daniel, bro. But by the grace of God, I don't have to live like that no more, bro. Like, cause like for real. Exorcism and chill, Jesus. That's what happens when if I lived in a house like that. Open container Daniel would definitely come back. He'd be fighting the demons million, all day. Assuming that a person of color can't live in their own neighborhood. Well then call the cops. I'll be right here. They call the police. I already called them. Minutes, I, already called them. I already called them. The house. I recognize the police officer immediately. Alright, because I already called them. Yeah, I do. 
<laughs> but he's like, I believe they had a problem with my skin. I think they had a problem with the message. And I also believe that they thought I was hurting property values. That's Karen, and she's calling the cops. Oh my Since God. I posted the video, the oh, response he did it. overwhelmingly he positive. Thought the, I think he did it. He thought the cops. Low key. Low key. Was really he gets Is this new? Yeah. People in prison. They, he I'm just did this? Black Lives Matter. But it might, yeah, he did this. This has got to be old. No, Come on. He, this no, is this, old. this video is old. We've talked about this on our podcast before, but he just posted it. Oh, okay. Like, he's just now posting this oh, shit. He's trying to stir some shit up. Exactly. This will say mm. equality for everybody. It's oh, the same Philly. Philly. Philbert. Philbert. What do you think the motive was? Did she object to what you were writing? I believe it was because of the color of my skin. Um, and <laughs> I don't think it was the color of your skin, buddy. I hate to break it to you, my guy. My guy, I support the message, my guy. GG, no, I bro. You, bro. Hold on, hold on. Before we. GG, bro. <laughs> fucking GG, dude. I'm gonna fucking. Open Container Daniel's gonna pour out some spirits for you, bro, because I really wholeheartedly support the message. Yo. And I get what you're doing. Yo. But let's cut the shit, bro. <laughs> Stop the cap. Yo, I almost fell out my fucking like, chair. Nigga, oh my no. god. Daddy. Bro. Daddy. Chill, daddy. No. I don't think it was because of the color of his skin either. I do feel like it was because of what he was writing, though. I know I usually don't um cut these, but shut your goddamn ass up, nigga. Like, insert <laughs> that there. Like, what? The color of your skin, my dude? Don't get me wrong, bro is brown. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's like he's he's not even racially ambiguous. Nobody, like, I can clearly tell. Like, Asian people always have money and are smart. Those are their only stereotypes, <laughs> and that they have r fucking three the biggest revolvers that anybody's ever seen. Those are not bad stereotypes. Like, and then if you right, want to be really racist, you could you could dig up something. But bro, no, no, they, nobody they do ever have, sees. No, they do Asian have pretty people. bad. Asian people do have bad stereotypes. But like, can't but drive it's or like, something like that's. We have worse stereotypes, bro. Like people just think we love chicken, and we love putting on black Air Force Ones and skull caps, and just taking their purse, cats, dogs, cars. Jesus Christ. You name it. They just envision, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll run over the other side of the street. Like, them type of people on that video. But I don't think people would see him in the neighborhood and be like, oh, he's like. I don't like, think He looks so very well put together. That's all I'm saying, dude. He does look you're very You're very well clean together. cut. You're, you're very well spoken. You know what I'm saying? Shit, even, even the way you wrote in chalk is very <laughs> eloquent, might I add, my friend. <laughs> Like, my dog, you look like you're about to add, ask for some great poupon. You're chilling. Okay, well, here's what they said when they called the police, because we got the actual... Nine he does look very call. intelligent. There's a guy canceling on a building on dog. Black Lives Matter, he's all set up. He has stenciled the chalk. Okay, I, I'm just going to say this real quick, because I have to check myself, because, look, it's happening. So, apparently, what? even... They're calling the police on this dude. Yeah. So I gotta stand in my own shit right now. I I'm that ignorant. Apparently, I didn't know that. Even they'll call the police on dude. He don't look threatening to me at all. At this is, all. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm still gonna stick with to what I said only because the only reason why they're calling the police on him is because he is vandalism he's graffitiing on the thing you get mm. what i'm saying and so you don't what think it it's says about his i don't think it has to out. do with him i feel like if it was a white person doing this they would still come at them with that attitude got you on some like oh you doing this you're on some hippie bullshit well that's like, how his, you get what um, i'm saying calligraphy was so eloquent for one and for two i was just about to say like yo if they'll call the police on dude if that's if it's skin based and i gotta stand in my shit on that one Dude, all them Republican Candace Owen motherfuckers, bro, you get caught in the wrong fucked up situation. Because we've seen videos where it be like state yeah, attorneys seen, getting pulled over. And they be I've like, seen, oh, what'd you pull me over for? I've seen stuff here where it's like when people try to stand up for people, they still get whether you're like, I've seen white people 
stand up white for people. non-white people. White people. And white other white people. people. You're fucking talking over me. Stop. Sorry. I have seen white people stand up for non-white people and other white people reprimand them multiple times. Me too. So, I know why. That's why I'm saying I feel like even if this was a white person that stenciled that shit on the wall, that bitch would still act like that and be like, oh, well, you must not live here because people associate Black Lives Matter with politics and stuff because it's evolved to that point. It shouldn't be that way, but it's evolved to that point. So they're associating, well, if you support that, then you must be poor and you must be on the left. You're not... You get what I'm saying? It's it's a but dumb correlation. Is, you get what I'm saying? I know white people on but, the right and the left that would have told this bitch to shut the fuck up. Like I was right, literally but all driving I'm down. Is I don't think it would have mattered what color he was. That's all no, I was trying neither, to say by that. Because you're about to go somewhere else with the convo. I just wanted to say that. Me neither. I went. just feel like people like her are a gross misinterpretation of this shit as a whole. And there's a lot of subsects of politics that are gross misinterpretations of what certain ideologies really mean and certain political movements really mean Mm -hmm. and certain symbolism really means you know what i'm saying they just take it and run with it like you like the vice video where the the ladies in the wheelchair talking about oh i'm qa on this and that and it's like bro you ain't really down with that shit right obviously that's some type of movement where people really with the shits in some type of way, right? You ain't with it, but you talking about it. Or people that go to conventions for a, a thing that's not technically even supposed to exist. It's just like, make it make sense, bro. I want to, before we finish the video, essay said there are a lot of... Um highly what did they say there are a lot of highly educated rich white people that are liberal though and that is true but i want to ask you something okay i want you i want to you see this type of graffiti right this is the type of graffiti that was on the home okay i'm gonna show you some more that ain't graffiti man okay stencil work excuse me i'm just trying to use the same little vocabulary that these people would be using. Okay. Okay, so this oh, is yeah, graffiti. It's this is his stuff. little graffiti, right? So you see this stuff, right? So I wanna know. He's clearly a Latino gang member. Look at him. Who living in this fucking house, bro? That's all I'm that's all I'm <laughs> saying. Who stupid, living in this nigga. fucking house, bro? That like five thousand. Would you really feet. imagine all that fucking <laughs> stencils and all that shit in front of somebody living in this house regardless of race or anything like really that's why i'm saying like we don't know the neighborhood we don't know the neighborhood but i can know common sense you're in, they're in california living in that like what bro honestly you got to use context clues like did this motherfucker just walk out of that house though is he is he chilling on this shit like it's his bro at the at the end of the day, they should have minded their fucking business. Yeah, because this period. turned out to like, be a classic case of, period. bitch, I got money too. Shut the fuck up. Not the Latin King hype house. You stupid. That's what I'm saying, dog. <laughs> He's like, that's how they're fucking, they're like, oh, look at him. He's clearly a cartel. Oh, he's like, clearly look at in him. the cartel. He's clearly, clearly a Sicario. Clearly, clearly in the he's, Sinaloa. He's, oh my God. I ain't never been set up like that in my motherfucking life. Man, let's switch the topic. Man. Good. I don't like it. About a month ago, I was riding my bike through downtown Toronto, and I noticed about a dozen people who were holding placards. Their goal was to quote educate people on how they don't um. have to wear masks. They were handing out these little cards that had all sorts of what they called facts about how masks can deprive you of, of oxygen. When I was handed one, I just my thing is. Instead of doing all that, bro, and the funny thing is, is this is illegal. You're not allowed to do this Mm -hmm. at all. This is illegal. Like, bro. And adversely, I seen the lady that be painting the Trump, the, oh, Trump, dump Trump shit on her, on, at the beach. Mm Mm-hmm. She went to where the people put, the politicians put their sign and just put her own signs in front of theirs. 
and some Karen pulled over. I just saw him blessing blessing this lady out. And she had her face mask on. She was like, I don't oh care. My God. She had her red brand new Volkswagen Beetle. Because you know this lady got money. She lives over here. But I'm like, dude, this is crazy. And I wanted to pull over and be like, yo, I know she might not have the permit. But you're not going to try to suppress her freedom of speech. Because I know that bitch was trying to record her and shit. Did she go on somebody else's property? Or did oh, she... she did, bro. She's well, a hippie, that's different, bro. Right? But, nah, but she's really fighting the fucking power. No, like, I you're know, supposed to, I'm bro. Saying, that's if dangerous. you really gonna be doing what you're doing, bro, do it. A lot of the Karens do look But like I wanted to fucking help her that. out, bro. But I, had, I looked down, bro. I had my work shirt on. I was like, bro, I, nah. Yeah, nah. Nah, Jai. Nah, I like that. The marriage is brought into action a mandatory mask law so we decided to gather in a group and oppose it there was brian tao and his bicycle with a little camera around his neck i jumped in i decided let me give him enough content to go viral i said you're the same kind of people that walk to the juice right into the gas tank no. i'm a member of mensa i said the most absolutely ridiculous things a person could possibly say and it worked kellyanne has been branded a karen by many people online I think she's more of a COVID-idiot. Anybody who is going to commit to this kind of civil obedience is the same kind of people that believe their government when they walk the Jews into the gas station. What do these people do for work? How do you have the time to just be outside, just like handing out fucking uh, Kinko's um, printables a lot at, of, like, at the street? Like A, a lot of conservative people don't where realize are your kids at? Like, that what's going people on? have made a whole niche job of just Bice. fucking trolling y'all. Yeah, I mean, like, one could argue that we're doing the same thing. No, seriously, yep. Like this. the same way that y'all are here, there are people that are so caught up in this type of crazy shit that they'll go watch like similar type of situations about. Oh that type shit, of shit, this is Canadian. No wonder they're allowed to do this. Cause I'm like, bro, in America, you would get arrested ASAP. You're not allowed to fucking spread misinformation about uh, health unless you're. The I think it is legal to say whatever the fuck you want. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think it's legal to do that with um, medical shit. The world will never know because right now, people Kelly just doing whatever they want. fame and notoriety through yeah. this. In some posts, Brian has labeled me an anti-Semitic white oh, racist. She's she she not ready. Because he did that, you would not believe the threat. Somebody looked feces at my front door. Ready. With a note saying, we're going to kill you. Turn Karen into a racial label against white women. I have many degrees. Okay. <laughs> you got I many don't degrees. think Karen is a racial label. No, it's not. It Multiple just means you're a fucking complaining Karen. ass, condescending ass, think you're so smart, but you're really fucking, really, um, what's the word? Condescending. Condescending, but not only that, but you're prejudiced. That's the main... Entitled. No, it's entitled. Okay, true. But those two things go hand in hand. I mean, let's be real. I mean, oh, oh. gosh, I mean, shit. I'm saying. Condescending, entitled, bad wig wearing. I can see your lace. Fucking rip it up. Oh, I'm disgusting. Ah. What the hell is you talking about? Put your retainer. <laughs> Put your retainer back in, bitch. Oh, shit. I just noticed you have a Karen picture. I don't have one. Hold on. Where's mine? Is that it? Put it back on it. Oh, there it go. Yep. This this Karen is is old. This Karen's old. This Karen old. Oop. Daniel, what did you <laughs> stop trying to? <laughs> okay, I, I can't. I can't, bro. I can't take these. I can't take them seriously because it's like they want to be oppressed so fucking bad. It's not a racial slur. Shut up. Go fucking take care of your kids. Get out the fucking street. Like, shut the fuck up. All of them belong to Get the Get off streets. the fucking corner. That's how I feel. Stop it. No, seriously. Go home. What do they do for work? Like, how do you... How Bruh, do they... they be selling Nutribirds. Oh, we detected a copyright. Oh, oh, you trying to copyright. Who trying to copyright? Who trying to copyright? Who did it? Was it Dr. Phil? Uh, Was it Philly? See, man. That's what I don't like about you, bro. Ever since your hairline receded, bro, you've been real frugal, dog. Dr. Phil. Dr. The Phil damn thing, crazy. man. You got yes, that shit is sketchy, but black lives do matter, bro. Like, and as of right now, 
they don't matter that much in this fucking country. So we do need to keep saying that shit. That's a positive affirmation in my book. Like, so you get what I'm saying? Mm. And that's why it's like, yes. Yeah, it's true. When when people try to combat it, well, all lives matter is a positive affirmation too. Okay, yeah, you're right. But as of now, they that's don't. bringing a negative vibration. Right, because they don't Like, you right get now. what I'm saying? As of Obviously right now, they don't. they don't. Look what just happened. Exactly.